OPAS Online automatically generates a calendar URL that you can use as the source to subscribe with other applications. So all we need to do is log in with our default account in OPAS Online and at the main menu just choose System and then Preferences. The Preferences screen contains the calendar URL for your site. It's right here. Now most installations will contain a single URL like you see, but it's very easy for us to create additional custom URLs. So you can, for example, have one just for your music director events, perhaps you want a URL just for your home venue, education events, things like that. All you need to do is right click your mouse on this link and copy that link address and then apply that link to your application. So for example, in Microsoft Outlook, I just need to tell the software I want to open a calendar from the internet and then paste in my OPAS Online URL. At this prompt, I click Yes because I want to subscribe to my OPAS Online calendar so that when changes are seen in OPAS Online, they automatically appear in Outlook. So I clicked Yes at that prompt. Outlook connected to the OPAS Online server, imported the calendar, subscribed to it, and you can see it here. I took a moment to hide my other calendars, and you can see your OPAS Online calendar appears here, and you can see the URL there. If you right-click your mouse, you can edit that calendar under its properties and give it a different name or color or things like that. If you use a Google Calendar, it's a similar process. Under Other Calendars, we click the drop-down, we add by URL, and we paste the OPAS Online Calendar. We click Add Calendar and Google Updates. Make sure you check your documentation both for Google and for Outlook to learn the rules of different applications for subscribing to calendars. As you can see in Google, it takes considerably longer than it does in Outlook. And when it's finished, your events are here. Just like with OPAS Online itself, if you click on any event, the details of that event will pop up.